Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my top five ARs inside of Call of Duty Mobile. Now, with this patch notes update, you guys have seen a top five guns video. You guys have seen a top five SMGs video, but you guys haven't seen a top five ARs video yet. For this season and for this channel as an entirety. So this is gonna be the very first top five ARs video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, targeting a bit more of a niche market here with an SMG meta going around right now. Not many people are using ARs anymore, but I still feel like they're viable. And I feel like the guns on this list are pretty agreeable. Um, you might arrange them in different orders, but in my personal opinion, I think this is the best order to arrange them in. And I also did um, ask some people on my Discord server on their opinions. Uh, the link to my Discord server will be in the pinned comment down below. But just before we get into the video, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe because we are trying to get to 30,000 subscribers before August. And um, yeah, as I said before, make sure to join that Discord server and let's just go ahead and get into the video. So for the honorable mention spot, as you guys can see on screen right now, we have the KN44. Now this KN44 skin was released as a multiplayer ranked uh, Master 3 reward. So I think it's a really, really good skin, especially as a free skin. So uh, I highly recommend you guys to get the skin and also try the gun out as well because the KN has always been a super, super great gun. It's always been like a favorite amongst like pros, that type of stuff. Hasn't really been a favorite amongst ranked abusers. All right, so coming in at the number five spot, we have the AK-117. Now, this gun was actually the best gun in the game in, I think, season one. And I'm not talking about the recent season one. I'm talking about, like, the very first season of Call of Duty Mobile. And this skin that you guys are seeing on screen right now, I think it's, like, Star Camera. I'm not really sure what the name is. But this was actually a ranked reward from the very first season of Call of Duty Mobile. So, you guys know this gun means a lot to me, and it is currently my favorite gun inside of the game but yeah the ak-117 has a super great iron sight um it has pretty good movement speed as well just trolling this guy over here and um yeah i think it's just all round a pretty decent gun but it's it doesn't have any particular strengths the recoil is okay there is a little bit of a horizontal kick to it but by using like a recoil controlling attachments you can fix it however i've you know, personally prefer a more SMG sort of feel to this gun. So that's why I have more ADS and like moving speed based attachments for this weapon. Um, so I'll be providing that. But yeah, it does require a little bit of more, a bit more skill to use this gun. And that's where you see, I think maybe two seasons ago, a lot of pros were starting to use this gun because it's, it's just a really fun gun to use, you know, it's just super, super fun. But yeah, AK-117 this season so far, it hasn't been the best but it definitely still is viable. And uh, if you want to take some SMGs at ranges, I think this is where not only this gun, but you know, a lot of other guns on this list stand out because most people are taking close range gunfights nowadays with the SMGs. So it's good to, you know, beat some people at longer ranges. Um, yeah, that's the AK-117 at the number five spot. All right, so coming in at the number four spot, we have the Peacekeeper Mark II. Now the Peacekeeper is one of those guns that just came out of nowhere this season. I don't think anyone was expecting it, but the, the Peacekeeper just felt suddenly, it just suddenly felt really, really good. And I realized this after I watched Path.exe's video. He actually stated, um, I think this was just when the patch notes update was released. He said that the Peacekeeper was actually one of the best ARs in the game. And after trying out this gunsmith particularly, I was hooked. This gun is insane. Like, when you're using this gunsmith, the movement speed, the ADS speed, the ADS movement speed, it feels like an SMG, and it has all the perks of an AR as well. And it, it just feels so nice. Honestly, this loadout, like, the gun is great, but, like, I've got to give it to you guys. Like, this loadout is so insane. You just got to try it. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, shredding people at close range on Nuketown. This gun has no problem with any ranges. Actually... Actually, no, no, no. We'll take. We'll, I'll take that back. This gun has no problem with short and medium ranges. However, once you hit those longer ranges, especially with these attachments, it, it doesn't. It doesn't really work. The uh, to get more longer range on this gun, you sort of have have to compensate the ADS speed and the movement speed for you know AD split spread accuracy and damage your range, 
which is something that's not very easy to do, especially with these unique attachments. So I would highly recommend using this more like an SMG um, in terms of like playstyle than um, you know a hardcore AR like you would with, for example, a Man of War. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the Peacekeeper at the number four spot, and I think it's totally deserving, if not a, an even higher spot. All right, so. Coming in at the number three spot, we have the LK24. Now, this gun is actually, I don't think it has been nerfed or buffed in like a while. I think it's just remained super, super underrated for a very long time. And now that, you know, SMGs are all that everyone uses, the LK24 is as underrated as ever. So if you wanna hop on that LK24 train and be a person who's not a meta abuser, just, just, just use the LK24. I promise you guys, you will not be disappointed, especially with this gunsmith I've given you guys. It's a more close to short range, um, close to medium, sorry, sort of gunsmith. However, you can still use it at longer ranges because it's the LK24 and it literally does everything you want it to do. But yeah, as you guys can see, um, I've also got a red dot on these, um, on the gunsmith attachments right now. And that's because the base LK24 iron sight is, is quite crappy. So you always want to be putting a red dot on there, unless you've got the backward skin. I do have the backward skin, but I didn't really want to, you know, use it because not everyone has it. So uh, this gunsmith has a red dot on it. But yeah, I don't, I don't really have that much else to say about the LK24 except for you to just use it, just, just feel it because it's, it's bloody insane, and it's still really, really underrated. So give the LK24 a try. Um, that's going to be the LK24 coming in at the number three spot. All right, so coming in at the number two spot, we have none other than the DRH. Now, a couple seasons ago, maybe around season 10, maybe, actually, no, maybe, maybe around season 12, I used to main this gun because this gun, oh my lord, it was juicy. And oh my lord, is it still a juicy, juicy gun. Now, the loadout that I have for you guys was actually featured in a video, I think a couple days ago. So I'm not gonna go too in depth into why I'm placing the gun at the number two spot. But you guys should know that this is this gun definitely deserves to be at the number two spot, if not the number one spot. I just think the number one spot might just be a little bit better, and I think you guys will agree with that. But yeah, the DRH is the jack of all trades. It's it's a, still a three-shot AR, don't forget that. It's just a bit slower than SMGs, and that's why people aren't using it. So um, DRH is a bit more of a s higher skill weapon because you need to hit more upper body shots to get that three shot times kill. Nevertheless, it is still a very great weapon and in the hands of a skilled player, it is a very, very good weapon. So DRH at the number two spot. All right, so coming in at the number one spot, we have the ASVAL or the ASVAL, whatever you want to want to name it as. Oh my god, this gun is insane. It is literally an SMG. It has such a crazy time to kill. ADS speed, movement speed, ADS movement speed. It's It's got everything you want, and it still has the feel of an AR, especially at mid-ranges. The only downside I have for this gun is at longer ranges, and that's because this gun has something called bullet speed, and it means that the bullets take a longer to travel in the air. Now, this loadout does compensate for a little bit of that bullet speed, but it doesn't completely get rid of it. Um, so I would just, you know, be mindful to not use this gun against like snipers or DRHs at longer ranges. That's just not what the strength of this gun is. I can say that the strength of this gun is mainly close to medium range, it, it can really go against many SMGs. And you see like even pros you know, using it in tournaments and scrims. That's just how viable this gun is right now in the SMG meta. It's, it's, it's actually pretty insane. Like um, if you guys saw my recent AS Valve video, I think maybe like a week, two weeks ago, um, I absolutely popped off with this gun. It's because on close range maps and just, you know, well, not just close range maps, but if you have an aggressive play style, the gun is perfect for you. It is absolutely perfect. If you like an SMG feel, but you still want to retain some elements of an AR, this gun's for you. This gun is literally for you. And I think um, my, when I think Miney's gun a couple days ago made it absolutely insane. So definitely recommend you to use A as well. It's at the number one spot for me. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. But yeah, it's going to be the end of the video. 
Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.